I've seen some people on the right track. If you're feeling a bit confused at the moment, that's okay. This is just, a, I just want to see some pictures here and we're going to do a lot of observation and talking through what's going on. Um, I've actually got one, two, three more. We'll see how we go for space um, that I want to talk about. So, did anyone think of the other really simple one, the other one that you've been doing for like 10 years plus now, um, simple operation that you know it's inverse? A plus, apart from plus and minus, what are the other two operations you learn about really quickly? You learn, really? In year two? Uh, yes. Plus, minus, look at your calculator. The operation's there. Multiplication and division, right? So, for instance, we, had, we talked about adding two and subtracting two. Well, if you multiplied by two, that, that's a function, right? I mean, you can multiply by any number you like. Then it's inverse. What would, do, what would go in the reverse direction would be division by two, x on two. Okay, again, we can draw a really simple graph of this. Uh, whoops, wrong color. Uh, what are these things going to look like? Well, x, 2x is, is like a steep thing that goes through the origin, and x on 2 is, is a shallow thing that goes through the origin. Yeah? Okay, and then there was this other one, and it's a bit tricky. <laughs> We talked about where this topic is headed, right? Which is we're trying to learn how to differentiate what kind of function? Inverse trig functions, right? Well, we've been working with inverse trig functions for a while. So if, for example, I think about sine x and I think about sine inverse of x, something a bit interesting emerges, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my sine x here. There we go. And I'm going to do this guy as well. When you start to think about what does this guy look like, you run into some interesting problems. Hmm. Let's pause for a minute before we draw this guy. I want to notice some things about what we've got drawn here um, before we move on any further. Okay. Firstly, when you have a look at the three that I've drawn anyway, I've got the x plus 2x minus 2, I've got e to the x and log base e to the x, and then I've got 2x and x on 2. We can think about these things uh, in a few different ways. Firstly, we can think about them algebraically. Okay? So if we had, for instance, uh, let's just do this one over here. Okay? If I said y equals x plus 2 and y equals x minus 2, okay? you can think about this. Remember I said this is like reversing direction. Okay? You can think about this as reversing variables. Okay, it's really er easy to find out what the inverse is just by thinking about the operation, but I can also think about it by switching x's and y's, and we've talked about this before last year, if you remember. If I take this guy and reverse its variables, here's the x and the y, I'm going to swap their places. x equals y plus 2. Yeah? Do you see how a very simple manipulation, if I make y the subject, just turns it into that? Are you okay with that? Is that all right? How about this? y equals e to the x. What would happen when I switch the variables? Well, it'll be x equals e to the y, which by definition is the way that we would write this. Right? You see it's just the same equation. I've just rearranged it so that y is the subject. Same deal over here. y equals 2x. If I switched variables and said x equals 2y, then all I have to do is divide both sides by 2, and I get my function. Yeah. So here, if I said y equals sine x, it would stand to reason that the way I would get to this guy is by switching the variables, right? So it would be something like this. Okay. Now, what you notice is uh, the direction of this thing is going to be different, just like the direction of this and this and this is going to be different. But we still have more problems to deal with, which I want to illustrate by saying not only algebraically can you think about this, but you can also think about it Visually, I want you to take your page for me. I unfortunately can't do this to the whiteboard. And I want you to turn your page 45 degrees, 45 degrees, pi on 4 if you prefer, anti-clockwise. Can you do that for me? Anti-clockwise. So you're spinning it around. Only 45 degrees. Okay. Now, if you've drawn this accurately, just, just spin the book. <laughs> you could turn your head, but you have to go the other way. If you turned your book in that direction, do you notice you should see symmetry in what you've drawn. Can you see some symmetry? For example, x minus 2 and x plus 2, if you've turned them 45 degrees, they should look to you, they should look vertical. Do you agree? 
they're vertical. So there's actually a reflection line in between, right in the middle. Can you draw the reflection line in? If you've got another color there. I'm gonna draw mine in like so. Can you see that reflection line? That's the line of symmetry between your x plus two and your x minus two. Have a look at the exponential and the log function. Do you see the same symmetry? Do you see them sort of curving in toward each other and then away from each other again? Where is the line of symmetry? It's still in the same spot, right smack bang in the middle of them, right? And then when you have a look lastly at 2x and x on 2, it also has a line of symmetry, but it strangely it crosses over itself. So you've got it going right there down the middle. What is the equation of this line of symmetry? This is a straight line that goes at 45 degrees right through the origin, right? So that's going to be y equals x every single time. y equals x, y equals x, y equals x, right? So I'm trying to get you toward feeling a definition, an idea, an intuition for what inverses are, right? You can think about them as switching variables. You can think about them as um, doing a reflection across y equals x. Now let's come to this guy, y equals sine x. What would it look like if you turn this over 45 degrees and reflect it across that? Huh. Now, I'm going to draw it. Don't draw it just yet. I just want you to see the way that I do it. If we did the reflection, it's quite hard because it's all wiggling around, okay? You're going to get something, make sure I get this right, like this. I'm going to just trample all over my other ones just for the sake of it, okay? Why do I have to keep drawing it? Why do I keep on going on and on and on, up and down? What am I reflecting again? I'm reflecting this guy, right? And this guy goes on and on and on forever, horizontally. So therefore, if all I do is a reflection, then this guy should go on and on and on forever, but not horizontally. It's going to go vertically, right? Does that make sense? Now, the reason why I've put this in dotted and in another color is because this is a problem for us. Think all the way back to when we were talking about functions last year. If you have any memory from when you did that, it was a long time ago. That's not a function. Did you notice that? What do you know about functions? What is it about this thing I've just drawn that is no longer a function? Every x value, Every x value or any x value really, can have more than one y value. Do you remember we had a test for this? Where's my, ooh, here's my ruler. Here we go. We had a test for this, right? We would get a straight line out and what would we do? Vertical. Yeah, we would put it vertically, right? And we would say, oh, okay, do I intersect more than once, right? So do you remember there was like a really easy function that broke this for us? It was the circle, right? You put your circle across a vertical line, you're like, uh-oh, I hit once, twice, it's not a function. What did we call that? A relation, right? So what I've just drawn here in orange is the inverse relation, this guy, okay? That's okay, but it's not the inverse function, okay? So therefore, what I actually need to do is some kind of restriction, and we're gonna to come to this later on. So I purposely want you to draw y equals sine x in there, but don't draw sine inverse just yet. We're gonna to come to him later on, and you're gonna to return to this page and fill it in once we're good and ready, okay?